got my old covered trailer here and well new trailers are so darn expensive but as you can see it's a little rough the lights work good I just did the lights not too long ago but the floor in here is well garbage it's still strong enough it's just that this was our garbage trailer for such a long time so I got some new weather resistant uh, three quarter inch. I think when I did this the first time I only used half inch. So I'm going to go ahead and try to push it back a little bit to have the bikes back a little bit and have all the gear up front and then put a shelf in right there. I welded one spot in a long, long time ago, probably up on the walls. I'll go ahead and put some eye bolts so I could hook, you know, the hook side of the tie down, just to make it easier to uh, tie stuff down. We'll see if I go ahead and sandblast this. If I do do it, uh, it'd probably be best to do it with the floor out. Just because then I could stand up straight. And that's one of the other negative, negative things on this. So, all right, let's go. temporarily put in because I want to go ahead and make this little guy to hold the ramp. So hopefully that will do good. Uh, can only tell unless we get a dirt bike in there. Wasn't too much work otherwise. I uh, went ahead and put some eye bolts in there and I was thinking about moving the whole bike back, you know, where the bike's mount backwards, but then I don't think we'll have enough uh, tongue weight. So I think I'm going to put them back forward. I wanted them back a little bit more so I could go ahead and put the gear up front. Welded those guys in so I could put fuel tanks here. I'll go ahead and get in this bad boy. So right here is a tie down. Right, Normally the front wheels will go here and have a board going across with those uh, track system. But I was thinking, well, I'll go ahead and put it back here and that will be great. Paint day, baby! Yeah. Gonna paint this old trash trailer today. See what we got. Got the rims all ready to go. Spare tire included. Got to hang up these bad boys. Got it all prepped. It's not perfect, but you know, it's just a trailer. Back all taped off. Wow. Boom. Unfortunately, pulled some freaking tape off, but it is what it be. The has turned out real good. We finally got the trailer probably 98% done. I still have a couple things to do, like some seam sealer and stuff up, up top, some caulking. Anyway. This is what we got inside. I need to grab a bungee cord for this guy, 18 inch bungee cord. Bungee cord those in. Got us a little bit of tool stuff. Other magnetic holders. There's a lock, just chills right here. This tie down is to basically strap the door open when it's windy or just to make sure it's not flying all over the place. Cut little hook down there I welded in, strap it there, let's go inside, 
see what we got. It's short, but that's okay. This one with these little magnetic Dumahu flashlights there, and they're okay. The magnet's not very strong, so that's pretty crappy, but these magnets are, are pretty good. Should be able to put a gear on there for each rider. Mounted up the spur tire on uh, E-Track system. Planned it just barely uh, to throw the toolbox under there. Got our chair set up here. Boots and helmets could go up there. And obviously there's plenty of room down here for riding bag. So all in all, I think it turned out pretty fabulous. I'm sure you probably noticed, but the bikes will be a little bit further back. I'll let you know how the tongue weight is affected by that. It's pretty easy if I have to swap it back. No big deal. I think she turned out pretty good. All right, just got to go ahead and get some bikes in here. Probably not going to be in the video for that, uh, but I'll take a picture and throw it on the Instagram. Until next time, get out, ride your bike.